hello everyone so in previous video we have seen like the sql commands what are the sql commands we have like we have seen about the ddl dml dcl and tcl and different different the sql commands which we have through which we can actually communicate to the sql server okay now in this video what actually we are going to do we are going to start with our practical and we will see how actually we can create a database how actually we can create a table and how the schema will look like that all the things we are going to cover okay i hope you have already installed the sql server okay so once so let us try to open a sql server i hope you have installed the sql server management studio also click on the open if you haven't installed the SQL Server Management Studio, please do install it because all the practicals we are going to see and we are going to practice in here only. Okay. Once you will open the SQL Server Management Studio, this will look like this. Okay. First, you have to give the server name and you have to log in. Okay. Once you will log in, this will look like this. Okay. Now here we have in the left side, we can see you we have option about the database, security, replication and all. Uh, what we have to do you can see on the top we have a new query just click on the new query okay once you will click on this new query this is this is where we can write any kind of the query okay now what actually we are going to do we are going to create one database okay we are going to see how actually we can create a database first because the first thing is like first we have to create a database and under this database only we have to create a table so how actually we can do create a database okay database what is database database is nothing but a, it is a collection of a data that holds the information in the form of a table so how actually we can create a database the query is very simple create database and the database name what is the database name which you want to give i want to give database name as a employee database employee database something any name you can give okay this is the query once you will execute this how actually you can execute just select this okay and you can see here we have option like the execute if you will execute you can see commands completed successfully and if you want to see whether this employee database is created or not in the left side right okay here i already have created so many database that's why you can see but you can see employee database has been created now this is the employee database okay now if you will see as of now on which database i have i am not in a employee database as of now if you will see i, I am in the master database okay this is the master database from here you can see what are the database you have and you can go there okay but through command how actually i can go under this database how to use database okay how to use database syntax is very simple use and the what is the database name employee database this is the query which we had to return use database and after that just execute okay now if you will see he previously it was master now it got changed to employee database okay now we are under employee database okay so how actually you can create a database create database and the database how actually you can uh, use this database use command use and the database name okay now let us see how actually how to create a how to create a table and okay now we are going to see how actually we can create a table okay simple syntax uh, query is very simple create table okay create table you have to write okay after that the table name what is the table name you want to create i want to create table name as a employee okay and after that you just have to open a bracket and after that we have to define the schema okay so if you will see in excel also you will be having row and column okay so in a column you will be ha having id salary name and there's something right so that actually we have to define like how actually our table will look like so for that actually we have to give the schema so i will give id okay and this will be an integer what is integer this integer will contain all the numeric value like uh, like if you are having any kind of the id one two three four you are having any kind of the salary that comes under the data type of the integer okay so i am giving id as a integer after that i want i also want a name okay and i am giving as a varchar because uh varchar and the 120 
okay up to 128 character you can consider okay so that is how actually i am defining my first column will be id second will be the name and third will, uh, and this this is how actually we have to give like how actually our schema will look like and the data type will look like means in id column all the value will be in an integer in the name column all the value will be in the varchar type okay we are given id we are given name let us give salary also i will give salary also and the, this also i will define as an integer this is the syntax only create table and after that you have to give the schema how actually your schema will look like and after that you just have to execute once you will execute you can see commands completed successfully okay now you have created a database uh, you have created a table okay create table table name and and uh, you have to define the schema okay now if you want to insert insert the data how actually you can insert a data syntax is very simple insert into insert into table what is our table name our table name is employee insert into table okay and after that values what is the values we want to give the values for the id my id is one suppose name is manis okay and uh, after the salary is a uh, 10000 okay like this actually we can insert the value okay insert into table and then we have to give our values that is how actually you can insert the value now if you will execute this you can see one row affected now let us try to see how actually you can retrieve a data retrieve data okay means uh, how actually you can see your table okay so syntax is very simple select star from and the table name what is my table name my table name is employee so i will give just a employee select start from employee if you will give and if you will execute you can see one table which got created and we have value like id name and the salary which we have defined and the value we have inserted as a one money and the 10000 okay so let us try to revise one second how actually you can create a database create database and the database name after that we have to go under this database so we have use command use database name okay and after that how actually we can create a table create table table name and we have to define the schema like id integer name varchar and the salary integer okay how actually we can insert a data insert into table name and the values we have to provide okay and how actually we can retrieve a table we can retrieve by the select star from table name okay now let us see how in other way suppose you have requirement you want to insert only in a specific column how actually you can give so previously we were doing insert into table name okay insert into the table name and the values we were providing right but i want only a uh, specific column on which value should be inserted so after employee after table name you have to provide where actually you want to insert so i will give id okay and i will just pass a id name as a 2 and that is how how actually we can insert if you will execute only id 2 which got inserted now actually how actually you can see your table select star from table name and if you will execute you will be able to see id1 and id2 were got inserted because we have inserted only in one column which is id2 so only id2 value is there and rest of the values are null okay so that is how actually we can create a table we can insert and we can uh, define a not even if you want to insert in a multi now let us try to see how actually we can insert how we can insert multiple rows multiple rows if you want to insert how actually you can do okay so insert into what is our table name table name insert into table name values what is the value i am giving id as a 3 name as a let's give any name and the salary as a let's give any name 2000 after that give a comma and id 4 Uh, let us give any name okay and let us give any salary okay now if you will try to execute this the two rows should be inserted okay you can see two rows affected now if you will see 
a table selects are from table name you can see we have a four rows one two three and four okay so like this actually uh, we can insert the multiple rows okay whatever the rows you want to insert you have to put into a bracket okay so how actually we can create a database create database database name how actually we can uh, create a table create table table name and the define the schema how actually you can insert insert into table name and the values how actually you can retrieve a data select star from a table name so that is how actually simple it is so i hope you will uh, practice this and in next video we will see about the filters and all